here at Lab Code Agents. Today we are we have special guest Christoph from Land Voice. And we have Jennifer, who is a top producing agent from Land Voice, and Jonathan from Land Voice. Um, guys, Christoph, why don't you go ahead and start? I know what Land Voice is. I've been using it for a couple of years, thanks to both of you guys. I see Jonathan at every convention I go to, which is a lot. And um, but uh, why, but why don't you guys go ahead and start? All right. Hey, thank you very much for having us on today. Um, first of all, you know, we, we love lab code agents and it's a great audience and I hear it everywhere that people just recommend to uh, join lab code. So, um, land voice, um, you are actually seeing here one of the offices at land voice and Jonathan is in our LA office. I'm in the Utah office. I'm the VP of uh, public relations and Jonathan is a national trainer. And then many of you have seen him all over the, the nation. Land Voice, in a nutshell, is a number one lead provider for re real estate leads, especially low-hanging fruit leads, like what you know can be contacted today? Who can I call today to get the home listed? And that low-hanging fruit um, at Land Voice, we described it as for sale by owners, expires, we do neighborhood search, pre-foreclosures. And so our goal is to get you the data, the correct data, the contact data, faster than you could find it on your own or with any other service out there. Great, so and then just tell us like some different kinds of data that you guys have available. Sure. So, you know, as, as you all know, and I'm sure uh, Jennifer agrees, um, we are finding ourselves nationwide in a pretty low inventory and a lot of agents get frustrated because they say, you know, we're all contacting the same leads and um, home, home sellers get frustrated because they get contacted by too many agents. And um, it makes it difficult to compete in that low inventory market. So what I would like to um, use the time for today, so it's really valuable for you, is how can we overcome that low inventory situation and get more listings? Um, and I would give um, or would ask Jennifer to, to jump in um, when she thinks it's right. But I want to like to point out that the big differentiator um, that we have to offer at Land Voice is the cell phone numbers. Without the correct cell phone numbers for an expired, it is very difficult to be the first agent to call them, right? When do expires come up? They come up at the end of the month or let's say the first of the month. Now, that's when you look into your MLS and suddenly you'll find, my gosh, I have 50 expires today that I'm supposed to contact and I don't have any cell phone numbers. <laughs> I don't have email addresses. I don't have social media profiles. And by the time, as an agent, I'm done with my research and I finally get on the phone with that expires, guess what? That expires says, my gosh, you're the 15th agent this morning to call me. And it's only 10 in the morning, right? So... Our clients love Land Voice for that reason because we do the research, we find the correct cell phone numbers, and now even email addresses and social media profiles and provide it to our clients by as early as six in the morning. In some regions, depending on time zone, as late as eight, but that's the latest. So in other words, you know, you turn on your computer in the morning, here you expire, here's a cell phone number, uh, email addresses and social media profiles. You have multiple ways to contact them. And I think that is one of the ways how we can overcome that low inventory situation. We still have the same number of leads, but now our clients call them before any other agents do. And of course, the first agent has the best chance to get the listing because you have the first conversation. You prove that you have technology that lets you get a hold of um, clients earlier. And I will tell you another, um, I just lost you, somebody here, but I will tell you another method a little bit later, but this is help. It doesn't answer your question. Yes, uh, looks like our, like the other uh, member has joined us. I muted her because she was getting some feedback on her phone. No big I deal. Have, I have a couple things I can add to that. Absolutely. I was going to you right now. So let's go, go ahead and tell us about yourself a little bit. And then, um, how you use land voice and how you crush it in your market. 
I appreciate it. Um, well, I'm a licensed agent in both New York and Tennessee, and I'm a little bit different where I started prospecting for sell by owners and expireds before I was even a licensed agent. So I have a lot of experience on the phone and there are a few key habits that I've created that have given me the edge when it comes to making these calls and actually getting my foot in the door with these people. First and foremost, if, if you're starting your day at 10 o'clock, don't stop, stop starting so, so late. Um, you need to be in the ready position at your computer eight o'clock in the morning, every morning and do it consistently. You have to create this habit. Um, also when it, you, you were talking about, um, you know, having the kind of com the competition and there are other agents calling, um, I don't have that problem. And one of the reasons for that is because I've become a master of my script. Um, I don't have the script memorized. I have it internalized. So whatever the person who's on the other end of the phone, whatever they said, they say to me, um, I don't have to sit there and, and think about how I'm going to respond because it's, it's become an innate response. I already know, and it flows out of my mouth. So, I would say a couple most important things for everyone to do is start to create habits. Um, eight o'clock in the morning is your start time and you start making calls at eight o'clock. Um, also become a master of your script and have it internalized, not just memorized. It's a huge, there's a huge difference. Um, so those are the, the two, I, I would say, most important things if you're just starting to prospect or you've you've prospected for a long time those are the two most important habits that you really need to create to be successful and have that edge over all the other agents who are calling so question for you um do you use land voice for both the for sale by owner and the expires or is there one that that you prefer more than the other I use land voice for FISBOs and expireds and my neighborhood search calls. Awesome. Um, the one, one mistake that I've seen a lot of agents make in the past is, you know, they, they sign into their land voice, they get their, their list of expireds for that day. And you go into your MLS and you start researching the properties to make sure you want to make, make those calls. Stop doing that. Call everyone. Call every single person, regardless of what you think the property is. It doesn't matter. Make the call. Um, and, if, okay. you know, if it turns out to be a property that isn't worth your time, then then move on. Um, but don't get in the habit of researching these properties before you call. You just make the call. I used to be so guilty of that. I'm not going to lie. I would look yeah. at my first. Um, okay. And then. You said that you've in, internalized your script instead of just memorized it. That's great. Obviously, you're breathing it. You're thinking about it all the time. Can can we get a little taste of something that's worked well for you? Um, sure. So I've in a little bit more history about me. I've also coached and trained a, a lot of agents to prospect. So what I tell them is, you know, if you have your script, you can find a, a script anywhere. Um, but you have your script and break it down into pieces. So first is your introduction. Repeat the introduction over and over so that it sounds smooth. You can't get somebody on the phone. You have a split second to make an impression. And if somebody answers the phone and you're, you're fumbling, hi, hi uh, 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 this is Jennifer, uh, you know, they're going to, you're done. You've lost your opportunity. So know exactly what to say. And, you know, it's as simple as, Hi, Mr. Smith, this is Jennifer calling from Silver Key Realty. How are you today? That just sounds so nice. It doesn't sound scripted because I know exactly what I, I'm going to say. And I've practiced that piece, the intro. Um, and then you, you know, practice the, the rest of your, your questions. You're, you're finding out your motivation, your time frame, all of those really important things that you need to know going into an appointment. Um, and then also what's separate from the, the actual calling script would be your objection handling script. So how are you going to handle somebody who does say, well, you're the 15th person who's called. What I normally do is, oh, I am? 
well, hey, I, I should have started earlier, huh? Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, laugh it off. Get these people feeling nice and warm and fuzzy and try to make that instant connection. And when you throw in a little curveball joke, especially in the beginning, they they think to themselves, oh, okay, this is an actual person I'm talking to. Okay. You know, they and they stay on the phone. So it's disarming. You do that really, really well. So you ever want to come up the sack and call some of my expires, I'll fly you out. Um, tell us about for sale by owners using Land Voice. Um, I don't do a ton of Fizbos. I just because expired, I don't have a problem setting an expired appointment. Um, but in my experience with Fizbos, the objection comes later on in the conversation. So every FISBO is going to answer the phone and welcome the conversation because, oh my gosh, I'm trying to sell my house on my own. I'm getting a call and they're all excited and they, they want to tell you all about three bedrooms, two bathrooms, all of that. So it's an easy conversation in the beginning, but then once you get to your close, actually asking for the appointment, um, that's when you're going to start handling some of your tougher objections with FISBOs. Um, so a lot of these FISBOs believe that they're going to sell their house on their own. And, you know, they, they object to you meeting with them, especially when they're clear that I want to meet because I want to list your property. If you're telling them that you want to meet because you've got so many people interested and blah, 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 you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Make sure you're very direct and clear with your intention with the FISBO. And if they're not ready in that moment, what I, what I found with FISBOs is that in the first uh, four to five days, uh, they're probably not going to be ready to meet with you under the, under the terms that you're, you're meeting to go give a listing presentation and take a listing. Um, so there's a little bit more follow-up required with a FISBO and you really, it's all about catching them at the right time because nine out of 10 of them are going to list with an agent. It's a matter of catching them at the right time. So with FISBOs, I'm particularly, uh, I, I pay close attention to my follow-up with the FISBO. And after that five, five day period where they've, you know, they've had a lot of agents calling a lot of people wasting their time a lot of people looking and not actually putting in any offers, not probably not even qualified to buy the house. Um, they're a lot more open to to meeting with you, and and you know you, it's a lot easier to close the appointment after that five day threshold, I would say. Um, but I what I wouldn't do is wait five days after a FISBO puts their house on for sale by owner.com or whatever they do. I wouldn't wait five days to call them. I would absolutely still make the call, but know that it might require another phone call before they actually will agree to meet with you knowing that you're coming out to give a listing presentation. Awesome. Thanks. I mean, like I said, you sound like a killer on the phone. I love that. Um, Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and go to Kelly. looks like she's calling in. So um, Kelly, do we have Cody. Oh, I can I can hear you guys. If you hey, unmuted me on purpose, that is. Hey Cody. Hello, Cody. Hey guys. Um, so do you want to um, go ahead and tell us how you use land voice for your expired prospecting, et cetera, and why they told me you're such a rock star? Absolutely. So I, um, I have been, I'm a licensed agent in, with a team up in Alaska. And when I say team, it's just a support staff. So I'm the only licensed, licensed agent. And I've been working with Land Voice for about four and a half years. And a lot of what I do was already covered. Um, really going into it, it, it is about the schedule. It is about putting lead generation on your calendar. If you start at 11 or 12 o'clock, you're starting too late. And so I developed a habit early on uh, when I was first licensed that the lead generation would be on my calendar every morning, Monday through Friday, and sometimes Saturday and Sunday if I haven't hit my numbers. Um, Land Voice is the first thing that I pull up specifically for the expired. And on average, about 50% of my business every year comes from simply calling expired listings and setting appointments. That's that's awesome. Um, so you've been with Land Voice for four and a half years. Uh, sounds like you're super satisfied with the product. 
um, I can't even keep a car for four and a half years. Um, so, <laughs> um, so, and you're in the market of of Alaska. How many expireds are in, it's not what, I'm obviously geographically challenged because the market is not the whole state. What's the name of the city that uh, you're in, the, the geographical market? I, I get, I think, six, six or seven different zip codes with land voice. Um, and so typically on any given day, I will get between 15 and 20 expired leads. Uh, the first of the month is definitely the best day to call for expireds, which is why I mentioned there are oftentimes where I'll call on Saturday and Sunday if they call, if it, that day falls on the first of the month. And those days on the first of the month, for whatever reason in our market, that's when the most listings expire. So it's not uncommon um, to come in and have 100 or 150 leads on the first of the month. And I've also found that New Year's Day, believe it or not, is the very best time because nobody else is calling. And there is, I, this last New Year's Day, I had over 600 numbers to call. Wow. That's a ton. And, and, and you know, I've heard that about New Year's Day. Uh, I've never made calls myself that day. I definitely should. You guys are inspiring me. Maybe this year if my wife lets me um so why don't you tell us about a little bit about your process you you come in early call absolutely so, that day you call the lead that you haven't reached give us kind of the game plan the day-to-day -day. absolutely so i have a i have a full-time licensed assistant and he's typically in the office before i am and just to streamline things he will pull up land voice he prints out the entire list of uh, expired, canceled, and he'll have it on my desk. He highlights all the numbers uh, that, because there undoubtedly will be some that are do not call, right? So he'll highlight all the numbers I need to call. I go ahead and I run through those, I make the notes, and then I will call back anybody that wasn't able to reach. Typically, I don't leave a message because I will continue to call them you know, between three and five times that first day. Um, when I get them on the phone, it's, it's simply the script of, you know, hey, this is Cody. Um, I'm speaking with John. And John says, yes, it's excellent. Well, I'm calling from Keller Williams Alaska Group about your property on 123 Main Street. I see that it expired off the market this morning and is no longer being marketed for sale. And they'll either say, yes, or I didn't know that. So say, I'm just calling to see if you're still in a position to sell the property. And when you re relist it, will you be interviewing agents for the job of selling your home? And 90% of the time they say yes, because half the time they don't know that the property expired in the first place. And they're pissed because their agent didn't let them know that that was about to happen. And so I'll either say one of two things, perfect, well, what do I need to do to apply for the job of selling your home? Or I will go in, depending on what their personality type is, what I've picked up on the phone, I may say, hey, you know, John, my team specializes in homes that didn't sell the first time. Would it be worth 15 minutes of your time to get together? So you can see what my team and I do differently to sell properties quickly and for the most amount of money. I mean, I booked two appointments just off that script in the last 30 minutes today. 30 minutes in the last 30 minutes. You guys are both killers, man. Um, I'm going to write down watch, watch, watch the replay. Um, what, <laughs> what other quick tip do you have for an agent who's getting started with Land Voice? I would I would definitely say that to make sure that you do that you do the follow up because undoubtedly there will be people that are there are other agents calling uh, in my market there's not as many that will call first thing in the morning um, however I am um, I'm the productivity coach and the training coach for my market center and several of my agents um, that I'm coaching with have land voice and so now they're starting to do it so we're kind of competing with each other which is that's okay. Um, but don't give up just because you didn't get the didn't get them on the first try. Um, the other thing that we've had great success in doing is anything that has a do not call or the number if the number doesn't go through or maybe it's the wrong number. It doesn't happen super often, but it, it might. Uh, we have actually an expired mailer that we send out, and it's a quick cover letter. It talks about how we specialize in homes that didn't sell the first time, and we include a spreadsheet with that that has. Our, so it'll have the property address, it has the competing broker, which it expired with, and then their days on market. And then right next to that in green are my days on market. And so an example of that would be, hey, this is listed with Caldwell, Caldwell Banker for 436 days, we sold it in six days. So when we get those mailers out, we, we tend to get um, probably between six, I would say six and 10 listings a year just from sending out those mailers. 
Wow, that's that's great. Good stuff. So, Christoph and Jonathan, go back to you. You guys, we got about seven minutes left. Let's lay down some new stuff that you guys have happening. More tips laid on me. Well, one of the things that um, I wanted to add to this is, um, you know, not only are we providing you the expired cell phone numbers every day and, you know, scrubbing them against the do not call registry. Uh, one of the tools that Land Voice has that really allows our clients to, to propel in front of other agents is, is a full marketing game plan. Every time our agents schedule a listing appointment, one of the things Land Voice does is we record a professional property message on an 800 system. We also create a flyer, a postcard, and a door hanger. Uh, we, we find all the photos online. We put all of the material together. And any scheduled appointment an agent has, all they literally have to do is send us the address of the house. And our company will put together a rock star marketing um, presentation for that expired, you know, the flyer, the postcard, the door hanger, and of course, a custom 24 hour property commercial of their house. And just showing that seller that you're absolutely ready to market their house. You have a technology that's gonna generate you a lot more buyers and uh, you're ready to take them on as a new client, get them on the market and sold. So that's one of the big things that a lot of our agents uh, pair with the expired leads is just being prepared with the marketing material and having what I like to call a differentiator tool. Yeah, you're gonna be competing against other agents. It, it's, always, it's always good for that seller to have that one thing like, wow, they didn't do that. That other agent didn't have that. And, and sometimes just showing them a beautiful recording of their house, it, it's, a, it's an easy way to hit an emotional chord. And we've seen that day in and day out with a lot of our client, clients throughout the country. So that's one of the things that I would add to, to prospecting expires and FISBOs is get a professional recording put together from Land Voice. Get the marketing material prepared. So when you get to the doorstep, not only can you impress them, you can get them to list on the spot. And we have agents. I know Cody uses the 800 system aggressively, and she does a great job with it. Jennifer, I'd like to see you uh, use that a little bit more because you're a rock star with what you're already doing. Um, that's, a, that's another thing that I would add in there on top of what they're doing. What they're doing is working for sure. So, you know, what they say, don't, don't fix it if it ain't broken. But um, it's definitely one of those differentiator tools. A lot of sellers point out, like, I, I like that. And, and, and when, when they're listening to their own house in a system, it's an easy way to hit their emotional cord for sure. That is huge. I had, I had no idea. I mean, yeah. yeah. It, and is that part of the normal package there? That's part of our lead package. And um, it's what he mentioned is we call it call capture. And it comes with our lead bundle. And of course, you know, we have great bundle pricing. So it sounds very expensive, but it is not. No, not at all. It is not. It is any agent could afford it and should afford it because it's, it's such a huge ROI, right? Sure. But I want to give you also another tip that I haven't heard on this uh, webinar yet. Um, I have a friend who's actually texting. So um, his name is uh, Jake Morse. You know, he used to work with Land Voice, actually. He, now he became an agent because he noticed how much money he makes <laughs> agents with Land Voice. So he left, unfortunately. But he called me, like, not even a month into his... <laughs> yeah, he did, like, two or three million dollars in listings in his first month. He said, guess what? I'm the only agent texting. Never calls. Texting my, my leads because I don't like to call. Everybody's different, right? He likes to text. Wait, so he never a couple things. He, he never calls. He, he doesn't like calling. No, he, just text. He just texts. So there are a couple of things you have to watch out for. Don't text people on a do not call. Provide an opt out option yeah. in the text. Don't mass text. Do individual texts and identify yourself. Those are the four rules of texting. You don't get in trouble. But guess what? Every text message gets read. What do we know? Within the first minute. Yeah. Right, ninety percent open rate. So it's it's very effective, especially for those people who said, you know, I don't like to call. Um, luckily, you know, Cody, Jennifer, they they are awesome in calling, but not everybody is like them. Uh, Another is thing is old expired, right? Yeah. So hey, what, one more thing, Jennifer, you were very humble here. Um, I mean, everybody can tell you are really a master prospector, but you sent us an email of how many listings you got through Land Voice leads at the beginning of the year. And we were blown away. We wish, wish everybody would use Land Voice to that potential. Tell us a little bit about how many listings did you get? Oh, wait, 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 okay. 
We don't hear you right now. Go ahead. When I sent that I email, you're... can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd have to look back and, you know, I should have had my numbers up to date, but I believe when I sent that email, I had been prospecting. Uh, I, I just took like a three month or four month uh, time frame and we had taken 18 listings and over $6 million in, in listing inventory or um, in, in volume. I don't remember though. <laughs> well, yeah. in, in three or four months? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. In Tennessee, That's awesome. right? In Tennessee, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Tennessee. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. That is, and that's what we're talking about. You know, that is the potential that Land Voice has. You know, there is, you spend, let's say, a um, thousand bucks a, a year, right? Or maybe at the most of 1,500, 1,900 a year on Land Voice. And that type of ROI, <laughs> it's a no brainer. Yeah. It is. Right? It's absolutely a no brainer. And the only, and I, I've, I've said this so many times, and I, I will continue to say this the only reason that a, an agent would not have the same result as that or better is if they're not doing their job correctly. They're not doing it correctly. They're not getting into the, the good habits that I, I'm into. Um, the, the numbers are the numbers, you know, land voice provides the numbers. If an agent doesn't call them or doesn't go after them every single day consistently, then you're not going to get, you're not going to get the results. You, you've got to, you got to get on the phone and texting to add the, to the texting comment, a lot of millennials right now, I mean, they're, that's, that's how they communicate. That's, that's okay. I only use texting as a means to get them on the phone so I can have an actual conversation. That's my one, one key thing with texting. I text all the time. I text people, Hey, this is Jennifer silver key realty. When, when can we speak? The only text is to, to find out when they're available to speak to me on the phone. Um, and also I call the do not call list. I know that I, I shouldn't, but I absolutely do. Everyone's on the do not call list. You're doing, I mean, you're crazy if you don't call people on the do not call list. I'm sorry. I didn't, and I know the other agent says that she goes through and doesn't call them, but I do. I've never heard of anyone getting a fine for calling someone on the do not call list, especially if you're just sweet about it. And if somebody rarely, very, very rarely, I'll get somebody that says, you know, I'm on the do not call list. Oh my gosh, you are. I am so sorry. You know, it's just real easy to get by that. Um, but that's just my little bit of advice. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and, and I wanted to pop in and piggyback off of what Jennifer said, as far as the numbers, um, we were just so far this year and we're just into the beginning or middle of June. Um, we've closed about 5 million in volume and based on what land voices provided us, they've provided 47% of that. And that's about 75,000 in gross commission income in my market. That's great. Awesome. So there, if the, yeah. there's no question about what the return on investment is. No. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Just you guys got to use it. You know, yeah. it doesn't that's work. It. You don't use it. That's, that's there, there's one more thing, guys. One, Go ahead. One more tip I have, if I may want to add. So we, we're talking about how to overcome low inventory, right? And we all agree that the current expires, you know, they are not that many as they used to be, right? There's still a lot in the first of the month. But overall, um, it's, it's not as what it used to be. What I recommend right now is to go back and call old expires. Go back to 2015. We, we see right now that those homeowners are putting their home back on the market right now and hardly any agents are calling them to offer their services. They are finding agents and say, you know what, I, I, the market is hot, interest rates are still low, um, the appreciation is 30% over 2015, yeah. I'm going to put my home back on the market. So what Landwash does proactively is we actually go back, we're the only company that does it. We go back to, to those old years, like 14, 15, 16, and we scrub those databases and we throw out all the sold, active, short sales, foreclosures, and we give our clients a list, a clean list of homeowners who still own their property, couldn't sell it since 2015, and gave up on the market. We do an absentee owner lookup and give them the address where they live right now. We give them the cell phone numbers, and we only allow one agent per zip code and year to ensure that they are the only agent calling on those 
really golden leads. Get from the real estate guys. I tell you, I mean, this is the gift of the gods of real estate, like Jonathan just said. Um, <laughs> and we make that available. Um, we, we right now we have a buy two get two free bundle just for this webinar. And I wanted to make sure I throw this out so that you guys don't just go online and pay full price. Um, buy two zip codes, get two zip codes yeah. free. So this is a number, right? So I don't know if you guys can see that. Call that number, that's the Landverse number, and mention that Krista said you get buy two, get two free, all expired. Um, ask for Jonathan, actually, and, yeah, free. and he will take care of you today. What's that phone we number? We have to make sure that you're... One more time so I can put it on the group. Okay, it's 888-678-0905. And then press awesome. press the action for sales and ask for Jonathan. All right, guys, this has been huge for me. But I mean, I want more listings, right? I, I want to help all my buyers that are coming in. I'm I'm gonna make some calls, I think, right now. So thank you guys. Well done. That's the purpose. And I want to hop on right now, um, make some calls. It's <laughs> I'm out of here. Right? But um, you guys got me pumped up. So. Thanks for coming on, everybody. Uh, like I said, I got personally a ton of value out of this. We'll put the information in there. Guys, Land Voice is great. I've been a user for a couple of years. Um, and thanks, guys. See you next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Cody and Jennifer, for being here. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thanks. All right. Bye -bye.